Welcome back, Degenerates, to Place Your Bets. I'm Tyler James. He's the one and only Eric Hansen. Together, we cover Notre Dame football, recruiting, and more for InsideIndieSports.com on the Rivals Network. And we like to make prop bets and predictions about Notre Dame football. Our season-long competition on the Insider Lounge message board rewards the first-place subscriber with a free 12-month extension of their subscription. Second place gets six free months. There's a thread to submit your picks listed in the video description below. Eric, last week, just one subscriber made it through our Virginia prop bet gauntlet with all five correct picks. That was BMHU Mish 1975. It was a hard week at the top because only three others managed to get four right as well. So, Eric, Eric, you and I were in the middle of the pack there with, with three correct answers, which is seemingly where I'm at every week. Uh, but that means I'm still two behind you in the season standings. You're at 29. I'm at 27, and our leader remains BMM2834 with 34 correct prop bets on the season. Eric, do you think uh, down the stretch we should include style points in our season standings? No. Okay. No style points, but let's take the hacks with prop bets for Notre Dame's Shamrock Series game against (laughs) Army in Yankee Stadium. First one I have for us, Eric, is over under one and a half touchdowns for Notre Dame running back Jeremiah Love. Army doesn't uh, allow very many rushing touchdowns, period, to anybody, and yet they've not seen anything like Jeremiah Love this season. He's had a touchdown in every game this year or more, 10 straight games. Um, But I think Notre Dame is going to score not a ton of touchdowns, but they'll score it in different ways. And so I'm going under on this one. I do not think Jeremiah will get two or more of them. Yeah, I'm going to go with over. He's only had two touchdowns on three occasions this season, which is, uh, I think, considering he scored in every game, you thought you would think that number might be higher. But um, two of those occurrences have come in the last three games. Uh, so I, I'm going to predict that Jeremiah Love remains a hot hand for Notre Dame's offense and gets in the end zone at least twice. All right, next up, over under three and a half catches for Notre Dame tight end Mitchell Evans. I think this potentially is one of the areas that Notre Dame can exploit some athleticism differences on the Army defense, even though their pass sufficiency defense is really good at 23rd nationally. Um, And the Riley Leonard, Mitchell Evans connection finally start feels like it's starting to gel. So I'm going to go over on this one. Yeah, he, he's only had four catches twice this season, um, but those have come in the last four games as that connection with Riley Leonard has become more apparent. Like you mentioned, I, for whatever reason, I, I, I've been g- continuing to hammer the unders when it comes to the receptions, no matter who you name for Notre Dame. Um, so I'm going to continue to do that. I'll, I'll play the odds here instead of going with – my heart. Um, so I'll, I'll go with under for Mitchell Evans receptions. So we're different on the first two already. We are. Oh, so this, this is going to be a big one for the standings. All right. Next one. Will Notre Dame make a field goal? I'm not sure they're even going to try a field goal. I think unless it's a chip shot and it's fourth and 32, <laughs> yes, that would make it not a chip shot. <laughs> but a fourth and long, I think Marcus is going to want to score touchdowns or want to attempt to score touchdowns. It doesn't sound like Mitch Jeter's line of uh, max is as long as they would like it to be, and I think it's kind of a crapshoot with the other guys right now, especially at a place like Yankee Stadium where it's kind of a weird backdrop and so forth. So I'm going to say no. All right, well, we keep going opposite. I'm going with yes. Uh, Notre Dame has gone without a field goal on four occasions this season. Two of those uh, included no field goal attempts in the game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, certainly, if Notre Dame doesn't attempt any field goals because I don't, I, you certainly I, you, you don't want to settle for field goals against a team like Army. Um, but penalties have been an issue for Notre Dame. Maybe there's a red zone penalty that forces a longer fourth down and, and sort of – pushes Notre Dame in the direction where it has to attempt a field goal. And and so I think someone will make it, whether it's Mitch Jeter or someone else. I don't know that I have a a strong indication either way, but 
I'm going to go yes, and maybe that's a little bit out on the limb. And uh, one way or the other, we're going to be making some move against each other uh, in the standings this week. All right, next one. Over under 94 and a half rushing yards for Army quarterback Bryson Daly. Um, so you look at the quarterbacks all season, and let's take Blake Horvath out of it for a second. And I think the best rushing performance by a quarterback, and there's been a lot of dual threat guys, is Ashton Daniels for Stanford at 42 yards. Um, but Blake Horvath was over 100. Now he had uh, that 47 yard. I just think that there's going to be some run fit busts. Um, and I think Carson Daly is going to get over 100 yards. So I'm going over on that 94 and a half figure. Carson Daly, he's going to do total recall. Rec- Carson <laughs> Daly. I knew I was going to do that. Price and Daly. Oh, my God. I watched the voice too much. <laughs> well, Carson Daly is not the voice host to me. To me, he's oh. the host of TRL for my childhood. So that's what I think of him as. Uh, but I, I will pick Bryce and Daly to go over as well. Um He's averaging just under 133 rushing yards per game himself. I've watched The Voice twice this week. So. <laughs> uh, at least I didn't say Rob Lowe. I watched that game show The Floor the other night. Uh, Daly hasn't been held under 100 yards since the season opener against Lehigh, in which he rushed for 78. And like you mentioned, Horvath reached 129 against Notre Dame. So I'm I'm going with over. If Carson Daly gets 100 yards against Notre Dame, they're not making the playoffs. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. All right. Over under four and a half completions for Army and Carson Daly. <laughs> <laughs> for Bryson Daly. So uh, they average about five, I think. I think they have 51 for the season. Um, but they've led – almost in every quarter of every game. I think the North Texas game was a couple weeks ago is the first time they've trailed. They've won every game by double digits. So they never had to pass when they didn't want to. I think in this game, they're going to have to pass when they don't want to. Now, will they be able to get completions out of those? I think they probably will, especially if Notre Dame's up double digits at the end and Notre Dame is playing a little bit more soft coverage. So I'm going over on this one. All right, I'm going under. I just like the way that Notre Dame's secondary plays, regardless of the opponent. Um, and I, I, there's certainly the chance for it to go over if this is lopsided or if Army's playing from behind. Um, but I, I still i am going to trust Notre Dame's defense and take the under. All right, our fun one for the week. Will any Yankees attend Saturday's game? My fun question is, how will we know? <laughs> well, I imagine if there's a Yankee at the game, they'll put him on TV. <laughs> well, you would hope, but they're you pretty never good know with NBC. Um, well, what if I stop? I, I might spot one in the press box. I, I'll be on the. I got boots there's, on the ground. There's there. Notre Dame fans everywhere. I I know. I am friends with the guy that used to be the St. Louis Cardinals traveling secretary, and he would tell me which Cardinals were Notre Dame fans, and they'd have questions for me and stuff. <laughs> um, so I would imagine there's Yankees, New York Yankees, who are Notre Dame fans. And so, yes, I will say yes. Yeah, maybe Juan Soto will be in the building to announce announce a new deal with the Yankees. Uh, I, I'm going to predict yes as well. Um, I think George Costanza will be there. <laughs> Some Someone uh, that wears a Yankee uniform will they be there bundled up and watching the Irish and Army play. All right, last one. Final score prediction for Notre Dame Army. I think this is going to be a lower scoring game, and I think Army's going to stick with it for about a half. And then I think Notre Dame is going to get up and make it difficult. And I don't, I don't think Army's going to get out of their ball hogging mode until late. I pick a Notre Dame twenty eight seventeen without a field goal. All right, <laughs> uh, I'm going with Notre Dame thirty one, Army fourteen. Um, so. Uh taking the field goal away from Army and giving it to Notre Dame compared to your score. So um, I, I think it'll be a competitive game. I think Army's going to hang in there. I just don't know that they have enough fire, firepower to um, match up against Notre Dame's defense, which has been excellent this season um, and certainly played ex- excellent against a different option offense from Navy. 
All right, that is it for Place Your Bets. Best of luck with your predictions. Enjoy another Saturday of college football, and we'll talk to you after the game.